this is the third case from uh, Apollo Hyderabad today. And this case uh, will be done by Dr. Helen and Professor Kibir. And Manoj will be there to assist. And uh, Pradi, Dr. Pradeep is there. So I hand over this mic to uh, Dr. Uh, Helen. And uh, Pradeep, you can present the case. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, our patient is a 67 year old male, known hypertensive type 2 diabetes with obstructive sleep apnea with a BMI of 36. He recovered from COVID pneumonia and hydropneumothorax in 2020. He presented to us with breathlessness with NYHA class 3 since 3 months. He underwent coronary angiogram recently, which showed normal epicardial coronaries. And the ECG is a SQ of sinus rhythm with LVH strain pattern and with narrow QRS complex. Echo was showing a severe aortic stenosis with a mean gradient of 88 millimeters of mercury and a left ventricular ejection fraction of 48%, and STS score of 4.7%. Uh, here we can see the ECG with narrow QRS complex sinus rhythm and LV strain pattern. And echo uh, with a gradient of max of 128 and mean gradient of 88 mm of Hg. And lab parameters hemoglobin is 12.5 gram per dl and creatinine is 1.5 mg per dl. Uh, next to Dr. Manoj Agarwal, sir, uh, for CT analysis. Uh, this is the multi slice analysis done with a 3 menu. Uh, it's a basically a tricuspid valve with little bit calcium on the non-coronary and left coronary cusp. Uh, the area of the NLS is 427 and area derived diameter is 23.3. Next. So you can see the calcium and coronary heights are left coronary is 11.4 and the RCA is 14.3. Sinuses of Valsalabar. So you can see the NLS here. The endless size is, area is 427 and area derived diameter is 23.3. Next slide. You can see the sinuses of Valsalva and uh, the leaflets. Leaflet, the two of the leaflets are a little bit calcified at the uh, commissural side. Left coronary height is around 11.4 and RCA height is 14.3. Next. And you can see again the picture of sinuses of Valsalva which uh, average is around 26 to 28. Next. There is no alveotic calcium. You can see a hockey puck view. You can see the calcium on the leaflets there. Next. The deployment angle, the coplanar angle is LAO 23 and cranial 7 to 10 millimeter. Next. And uh, the peripheral anatomy is unremarkable. There is hardly any tortuosity, very mild calcium in the posterior wall along the iliofemoral, the whole of iliofemoral in multiple places. Uh, so it's a basically tricuspid aortic valve very, with mild calcium and a little bit we can always discuss about the left coronary height which is around 11.4. So we plan to do a balloon expandable valve which is Edward Sapien and size 23 is 0.4 percent oversizing. So we can discuss it out whether we want to increase, add a CC or a 2 CC to make it six, 4 to 6 percent extra. The excess will be obtained through a right femoral artery with one proglide and if necessary we will use angioseal. So far what we have done is we have obtained a venous excess on the left side for a transvenous spacing and for the pigtail injection uh, left artery puncture has been obtained and we have placed a pigtail in the non coronary cusp. Right we have placed one proglide and 11 French seat in situ. Dr. Helen over to you. Yeah so hello to everyone. So the, everything is already in place, all the, the sheets are in place. So in, uh, in our center, in, I prefer to place first the sheets. So I will advance the dilator okay. on a regular wire. Um, the, here the good local anesthesia, I guess. Yes. So it's fine. We'll give more. Just give like Just uh, because the patient should not feel any pain, of course, at the, at the access site. And you I will use first the dilator. You want a regular yes, one? Yes, it's okay. I will do some more to be sure that he will not complain. Have, the, have they seen the, uh, the autogram? We can have show the, the autogram. No, we have not done any autogram. No, they we have done one. Have, but they have done the CT autogram. Ah, okay, okay. No, we have done the autogram uh, just before. Achha, no, okay. No, we did the it. First we injection you want. So we will, uh, we will show okay. you the... Uh, the uh, yeah, this one. 
Well, m m my uh, personal feeling yeah, is that the true. puncture site is a little down, so because uh, we yeah, are at the effect. lower part of the... Uh, Can you have the dilator? Uh, the the in general, we, we prefer puncture. Normal wire or do you want to take the It's direct at the other location. Manoj, can you hear me? So I will introduce... Uh, yeah. Manoj, yes. <coughs> Anand Raman here. Manoj. Greetings to Ellen and uh, Dr. Kribia. Yeah, hi. Good yeah. afternoon. Hi, hi. Now, hello. 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 while she's uh, continuing, just uh, ask uh, Dr. Kribia about a couple of comments about choice of valve, balloon expandable, and the second, whether he will pre-dilate or not, and if so, what is the reason, and also the size. Obviously, it's come in the cusp uh, between the valves you well, have actually, shown. You know, we, so, uh, how will he choose? On a regular, uh, on regular basis, you know, we don't use to uh, pre-dilate for, uh, for a sapien. Ex in two uh, circumstances, we pre-dilate. We pre-dilate in case of massive calcification, and when the calcification is very yeah. huge. Or we pre-dilate when we need to do a balloon sizing. So balloon sizing consists in doing an aortogram at the time the balloon is fully inflated. And so it helps to determine whether we use a 23 or 23 plus something or a 26, you know, so it can be, it can be useful. In these patients, you know, we're hesitating because the, uh, the valve area is just at the upper limit of the 23 millimeter. And so uh, we wait until we, uh, we, we saw the, uh, the autogram. And uh, clearly the autogram showed that the aorta is relatively large and uh, it's not a small size. So we will probably uh, add one milliliter of the contrast in the, in the 23 just to make it a little bigger. And uh, after that, we will uh, we'll control the results. But uh, we are not pre-dilating in these patients as we, in general, we are not pre-dilating the valve for, for Edwards. So, so far, the, the dilator is in place over a conventional 0.035 wire. We'll exchange the wire for a little stiffer wire, the extra stiff uh, amplatz wire, which will be used anyway for during uh, the procedure. And uh, I prefer to use this uh, wire to uh, advance the, the sheath. So I will pull back the dilator and advance the 40 French sheath. So we are pulling it back. There is no, no, no problem. I, I had absolutely no resistance to advance the um, dilator. And now we'll advance the 14 French sheath. And usually we give heparin after that. Oh. It was given, okay. Half an hour ago, we okay. punctured. They punctured a long time ago, so they, they gave it before. If you want, we can show you the progression. If we can move the table up to here, because you can see that How the much? progression will be uh, quite easy, more. you see. There is absolutely no resistance. You can go up. Yeah, right, you please. see, absolutely no resistance with the introduction of the, of the 14 French cheese. So now we'll pull back the dilator. We have the sheath in place. We have the extra stiff wire in place. We will flush it, of course. It's very important. And we think that uh, it's a place where you can have the origin of uh, some strokes. So it's very important to keep it uh, very patent without any blood in this sheath. Usually, we, we connect an infusion line to, to be, uh, but it's OK. We'll Sorry. clean it yeah. regularly, yeah, okay. no problem. And now we'll um, cross the aortic valve. So I, w I learned uh, when I was uh, very young from Alain uh, to cross, very uh, you are to still cross very the aortic valve with the um, Amplatz 2 catheter. So we will advance in L I will uh, go to LAO to cross. And I will uh, advance over this wire, the Amplatz 2. And of course, exchange this wire for a straight wire. I just, uh, I'm I'm sorry, I just would like to make it uh, clear. Uh, normally, we give heparin right now, you know, just we, uh, but it has been done a long time ago or half an hour ago. We think the half an hour, but you uh, think that the, the, the anticoagulation is 17, we have added more. Oh, okay, fine, fine. Okay, so, so I'll take the wire. You have to make sure that yeah. there is no yeah. risk of thrombosis. Yeah, yeah. So. We, we added just now 3,000 more. So here it's uh, the one we use. Uh, it's a 0.035 straight uh, wire, which is not hydrophilic. Uh, and Alain, you can explain the way we, yes, we well, cross. Yes, well, actually, you know, we, what we used to do for crossing the aortic valve, you know, with an experience of many years of the balloon aortic valveoplasty, you know, almost 30 years, uh, we, uh, we used to place the tip of the amplats uh, at the upper part of the calcium. And then uh, we map very gently uh, with the with the galois, so and uh, we uh, we try to oh, uh, okay. we we do not uh, pull back and advance the gad the galois too fast. You know we are not mapping the valve uh, as uh, as we can say, 
And uh, we are trying to be as horizontal as possible, you know, to make sure that we will find the orifice and we give a clockwise rotation. It's a little big, you know, the, uh, don't think so, huh? Yeah. I think it's uh, a little bigger because uh, okay. I am not, um, I am vertical with the, with the tip, but uh, you see? Okay. I think L1 could be better, but... This uh, is L1. Ah, that's... B yeah. Ah, okay. This is L1. So we can do that in uh, LAO, or we can use I am in the, LAO, uh, yeah. the working view, so it doesn't matter. Because usually I cross with L2, in fact. You I want the L2? No, is no, but I was surprised. Is it an L2? No, it's an L1. L1. Ah, yes, we always use an L2. No, I, I am sorry, but uh, this is very important because the L2 is... Uh, getting closer to the Yes, orifice. I am a little far from... So uh, yeah, here yeah, you, yeah. Ca you can't cross, actually you have but crossed. I am but uh, this is not the, yes, the usual way. If we can way, move yeah. to REO... <coughs> I, uh, we, we, I like to move to REO to, to advance the amplats, not to damage the apex, and then we can take the gradient if... if, if uh, I don't know if it's your... Uh, Okay, so far now, it's you know, we, you uh, we, uh, we have been in RAO to advance the amplats just to avoid the, uh, to, to observe that we are not okay, injuring okay. the posterior wall of the left ventricle. So you have the gradient, and, uh, which is very You have very the gradient, high. you know, on the screen, which is a very high gradient, actually. I was not expecting this, uh, this high gradient. So mm -hmm. uh, how much is it? Uh, it's it's in, the run, 80. in the range of 80, yeah? yeah 80, 80 peak to peak, and uh, so it may be something like 60 oh, mil, mil. We can discuss so about predilatation. No, 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 no. no, okay. no, no, no. The way okay. we cross, does it matter that we cross eccentrically if the valve, you right. we should do a predilatation, otherwise valve may not cross? No, 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 no. It will cross. Uh, eccentrically always when I, we... I agree. Huh? It was a well, if you want, it if it you want to do an answer. Maybe with, yeah. with a 20 millimeter balloon? Yes, well, okay, fine. Uh, I, Manoj, I, yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Manoj, I'm yeah, going to ask the question again. Are, the question again. are you going to predilate? Yeah. I think yes. we should predilate yes. because our entry into the LV was very eccentric yes. towards the non coronary mm -hmm. cast. And uh, this is a sapien, you can't take it back. So better to predilate and then go. I Do think everybody has agreed. Yes. And uh, the gradients are more than 80 millimeters of mercury. So we are going to predilate. Yes. It's just a question of size of the balloon. 20. 20. 20. 20. Yes. So uh, well, I think Dr. Kripia and Helen yes. agreed upon 20. I will take the amplats catheter and uh, we so will pre-shape it. It's no, this is a no. normal wire. So I'll put a pigtail. Uh, no, 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 I don't put okay. the pigtail. Amplats catheter. Amplats wire. That amplats wire. It's an amplats catheter. The same that, same that we, that use, we, yeah. ha we yeah. had. Uh, it was an uh, exchange. Was it an exchange okay, one? So we, what we used to, uh, we, we can also up. use a separate, but uh, the, if we have here uh, a 0.038 amplats, so extra stiff, and uh, we will uh, appreciate the tip. Is the wire you want? Uh, yes. It's, it's uh, cook, cook extra stiff. Yeah, yeah. You cook want to appreciate it? Yeah, sure. Can so we can uh, we can this just make a, a small question. curve. So we can adapt the curve, the, the, the distal the distal curve to the size of the LV. Can so here it's it a, it's a, an average size. So I just give a, a curve, you know, with a dull instrument. You know, we, you don't use something uh, with cutting edges, and uh, and uh, you do uh, you do this curve, and uh, that's enough. So I, and uh, so only the on the three uh, distal. Uh, yes, but because you are, are you are, are you not sure about the. No, no, uh, no you should okay. be comfortable. Yes, no, yes, no, that's it's, fine. it's yeah. perfect. No it's problem. perfect. Yeah. So now we will um, disconnect and introduce this uh, wire, which is extra stiff. It's not super stiff. It's yes. very important. It's just extra stiff, and we advance it in RAO, and we need to have a good positioning. Uh, in the in the left ventricle. Okay, push quickly, okay, and you, you see, see immediately it's very there is good a position. Yes, very there nice. is a self so uh, self positioning of this uh, cook, uh, which is not bad. Well, actually, you said that we crossed uh, on the side, but, yeah. but now okay. the, the the gadwar is in the middle of yes, the valve, you know. Yes. So, so we don't dilate. No, no, no. We, 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 no, we, we, we announced one. that we will dilate, oh, yes. so we'll dilate, but, uh -huh. <laughs> but it's not. Uh, it's we not do a small predilatation with a twenty-one. Be gentle. Yes. Be because it's not, uh, it's true, it's, uh, I mean, uh, uh, someone would do, also. yes, so another one would not do. So there is no risk of uh, predilating no, no. anyway, but uh, it's So we not will move to necessary. the um, 23 projection. It was not 27, in fact, it was LO 23, cranial 3, if you can move to there. No, but it was 23 on CT scan. Okay. So maybe it's better to okay. keep the CT scan. Okay. And we'll do dilatation at this uh, level. Do we need to flush the balloon in the aorta? It, it was done. It was done okay. by 
So we are advancing the balloon yes. over the wire. The wire is well in place in the LV. It's maintained and then straight. What so size balloon are you using yes. for predilatation? What size? It's a we, we, but since we, you know, since we were hesitating, we took a small one. We took a 20 millimeter. Okay. Anesthetic. It's a very small one. It's just to be sure that we cross easily. And you see, uh, I c there is no problem. I pull back a little the pigtail. And uh, we will. Uh, we are in a good position. And uh, you do an angio we at do, the same time, um, yeah? We do. Uh, do you want to do an angio? Yeah, okay. Sure. okay. okay. Well, then we think it's and back. we do yeah. also rapid pacing. So we'll yeah. have to check rapid pacing. We do at 200. So um, um, if we can follow, so I will say uh, pacing, then you will inflate. Ah, ah, yeah. okay. okay. And then you will deflate and will say stop pacing. Is it okay? You, okay. You start, start pacing, pacing and stop, stop pacing. pacing. Your command. Yes. Okay. Done. Okay. Okay. So are you all ready? Uh, no. Uh, is it uh, is it uh, ready for the angio at the same time? Yeah. Yes. Who will Who's do going the index? Somebody has to do the angiogram, yeah. Manually, yes, manually. And uh, I, will, I will tell you when to do the injection. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, so um, pacing on? It doesn't work. No, no, it's it, work. it works. Uh, inflation? No, pacing should be 180. Yeah? Uh, injection? Injection? Okay, stop deflate and stop pacing. Well, you know, but we, we, we always good, associate uh, the uh, balloon inflation to an angio because it gives us a so good idea we, we of the size um, of the balloon in comparison wait. to the size of the annulus. And clearly here the balloon is too yes, small. Yes, we will review and it. Uh, uh, so 23 millimeter is absolutely advised and uh, probably a with a back, little yes. uh, additional um, contrast in the balloon, just to make it just say uh, 24, for example. I was not very happy with the pacing, you know. I no, the, the pacing was not working. Yeah, it was the, not. The I, was I not mean, working. it could be better. Yeah. So we can, can go to AP, a, can we? What did you do? Was it 200 or was it one? <laughs> 200. You can see the position. Uh, no, you, you can make it 180. That's enough. 180. Yeah. Try 180, please. Uh, on this, we will see if it works. So we do a test of rapid pacing because during balloon inflation it was not working very well. So I, uh, if not, we will have to replace uh, the. One minute. One minute. Okay. Just wait, Stop. Wait. Okay. But it's not. Stop. I mean, so uh, this is not 180. No. This is not 180. How much is it? Uh, uh, what, uh, what are you doing? Uh, be, be careful, it was pacing there. No, but it's no, not no, no, 180, no, but it was, uh, so he has to place 180 on the estimation. You're doing 180 only, no? Okay, so do, do again a test of do uh, again. rapid. Do a rapid pacing, yeah. So because we are just checking the pacing, which was not satisfactory. Just observe what's going on on the screen, you know. Okay, this yes. is good, this is good, stop. this is okay. okay. Stop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now okay. the pacing is working and we can proceed. So we take one cc or two cc extra? No. Uh, can we have a look at the angio at the, what we yes, at the balloon inflation? Small, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can Maybe we have a look? Two cc would be fine. Yeah. Okay, so we have the balloon yes, so, yeah. and we have a lot of space on yes, the side. Yes, well, you, you can plus do two, a two. Plus yeah, two. Yeah. Plus two. Plus it, two. It could yeah. have been a 26 mil, so I put in one cc. The only thing is leaflet is it was just at the, at the frontier between the 23 with additional filling you or 26. You see the, look yeah, at yeah. the, look at the leaflet with right. the left main. Uh, it's uh, No, no, that's fine. No, no, it, uh, the, the, the sinuses. Uh, uh, no, no, that's fine. It should be fine. Okay, let's proceed. Wait. Okay, we can take the um, the valve. Yeah. So 23 so plus 2 milliliters, yeah? 19 ml, 17 plus 2. This is flush? Yes. 17 okay. plus 2. Yeah. I mean 19 milliliters of dye in the yes. balloon. Yeah. So, Elaine, are you going to take a 23 <laughs> millimeter valve with a few ml extra? Is that the plan? Yes. Yes, yes. plus yes. two, plus two cc. Yes, because there is yeah. a space around the 20 millimeter balloon, but it was a 20 yes, millimeter, yes, so not the, a 23. A yeah, it so, it, but it was not a 23. Yeah. So Elaine, is there anything between okay, 26? So now we're yes. 
Deciding between 26 minus 2 ml or yes. 23 plus 2, how did you decide? Yes, 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 but it was, um, the valve was ready anyway. <laughs> so um, uh, in the beginning we had, um, with the um, CT scan scale, we had uh, plus 1% uh, with a 23. Yeah. Yeah. So we thought, uh, we decided that 1 cc would be enough uh, because it will go to, to, uh, to oversize by 7%, so it was perfect. But it just went because we decided to predilate and to look at the, um, at the size of the balloon in the aorta, and we noticed that there was some space, so we decided to add two instead of one, which was what we planned at the beginning from the CT scan analysis. Yes, but I, I totally agree uh, that uh, if we had the possibility now of changing our mind, we could use a 26 minus one milliliter, for example. Yeah. You know, so it, I it am would advancing. Work as well. So I am advancing. So maybe can we move uh, to? We will have to do the alignment. Um, uh, oh, 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 keep a wire. Keep a yes, always yes. keep an eye on the wire yes. in the LV, because as was said, uh, and can you maintain uh, straight the wire? Yeah, yes. Yes. One minute. Yes. Uh, uh, go ahead. It's okay. Yeah. So I am advancing without any friction. I will pull back the loader. And so you stop on a straight portion of the aorta, you know, a straight line. We can remove this loader because sometimes in, pe in persons who are tall, uh, it can uh, be inconvenient to have it on the way, but uh, we can disconnect that. I will peel it. Okay, it's out. Okay. But the patient I, is not uh, so tall. But And I now uh, my colleague will do the alignment. A little bit of cranial you want or it's okay? Uh, we'll see if we, if we need to move okay. to cranial. Okay, just show me the wall. Yeah, that's okay. So pe uh, it, we have to pay attention to the wire in the LV while doing this maneuver because uh, he is pulling back the balloon uh, to, uh, to. What do you need? Okay. No, no, the balloon is not. That's okay. You can. Okay. You can, okay. You can no problem. Back. So I am maintaining the sheath. You, you he is pulling the, back the, the balloon. Can we uh, see can the screen it? a little better? Yeah. Yes. It's coming out. Man. Okay. Yeah. So you you can move on. Just a little more. Il y a quelque chose qui fait pas bien là. Attends, tu, tu peux regarder. Can we have the, the the stand in the middle of the screen, please? Can you move the uh, X-ray? Okay, here. Did you disconnect? Okay, yes. Yes, yes you disconnect. Connected. You cannot pull it back. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Stop. We have, the marker. Bon we have the marker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have the marker. So now you can you can. So uh, now we lock it. It's okay. C go back to the stand, please, to the valve. Okay. And now we, he, we so are locking should again. We, should we take the entire assembly Enter little up in the thoracic aorta? Because I think the valve frame is yeah, interacting with the better. tip of the sheath as well. Yes. Yes, so was that. Okay, is, we can do that here. Yeah. Ah, okay, just so was the valve. No, but uh, go back to, to the... Go okay, back don't here. move the table. Stay yes, here. Yes, stay yeah. here. Okay, now you can uh, pull back the, the balloon inside. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, that's fine. We that's don't fine. need any cranial or some no, cranial no, to be fine. sure, I but think I think it's, it's, okay. uh, it's, yeah. a, it's a good position. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so okay, so you can relock the, the system. Yeah, lock, lock, lock. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You lock it's in one? the middle. Yeah, locked. Okay. okay. So now we can uh, move to um, LAO and to the aortic arch. You will rotate, I rotate. You will, you, okay, you will. Okay. Someone has to hold the I, wire yeah. and you do both? Yeah, yeah I do, do both. both. Okay. No problem. So I will advance, I will advance and I will ask my colleague to uh, try the f to, to, to flex here. You can, okay, now you uh, can okay. start flexing. You can start and someone okay. can maintain a, fle a, f a flex. I'm doing it. A traction on the wire yeah. to try uh. to avoid uh, the so I a little more. I just wanted to mention that uh, what we try to do is to maintain the nose cone below the level of so the pigtail below the level of the pigtail, just to avoid any friction of the valve with the top of the aorta. So this is an excellent position. And before crossing, okay. we have to test the rapid pacing yes, again. Yes, and yeah. we have to go back to the projection. Can you move back to 23 uh, LAO and 3 cranial, please? Yeah. Okay, this is the good one. Now we have to, have a, we have to be sure that the pacing will be good uh, and uh, permanent. So can you test again? It was 200. No, yeah. it was 180. 180. So keep it on a long screen, on a long on the screen uh, to have 180 
Okay, go ahead. Uh, 180. 10. No, stop. Output stop, uh, it doesn't work. No, no. Uh, yeah, no. Okay, 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 uh, it works. Yeah. Okay, okay stop, that's fine. Stop. You can so stop. So it takes yeah. some time, no? Yeah. To, uh, Okay, so we'll implant, of course, only when we'll have yes. this uh, optimal well. pacing. So we are in, uh, in, the, um, in the projection. Uh, it was 23, if you can, 23 cranial, caudal, no, 23 LAO and 3 cranial. So it's not exactly what it is on the screen. Uh, no, it depends on the Cranial 3. Cranial 3. Cranial. Okay. Okay. So now we are ready to cross the yes. valve. You keep it centered, Mr. Oh, so you, you try to make it in the center of the valve, yes. so yeah. you can give a little more flexion if you want, just cross in the okay, middle. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We, we, and, we are and in. And when you in. are in, you can uh, remove the flexion. Okay, remove now... Remove a little the flexion, uh, yeah. Yes, we can okay. remove a little, and now make we have to pull back. Yeah. You, you want, want me to? to? Uh, no. Okay. So we have uh, the to disconnect, uh, to uncover the balloon while maintaining the stent at the, in the right place. The big Not the, the uh, curse, uh, yeah. Be careful, the stent is, uh, is deep in the LV. Okay, Push a little fine. on the wire. Okay. I'm pulling back the stent. The pigtail on, okay. uh, on the curse. Yes, but we have to try. Yeah, okay. okay. So now we are in a in good position curse? and we'll do uh, some uh, dye injection and during I'm rapid pacing to be sure that we are in a good position. Do you have to a uh, little bit deep. Uh, it's a little deep, yeah. yeah. You yes, should but be at the level the of the big tail. Yeah. We have the coronary. It's uh, okay. It's yeah, okay, right. I think. This, this Is the wire one. on the in the apex correctly? We can push we it. We can come to Ario. Just a second to see. Yes, sure. Good, good, good. We can go back to Aleo. Pressure so Aleo is very 23. good. Aleo 23. Okay, good. So. Um, so I will. Um, do you mind if I say the the um, I give the directions for yes, pacing, etc. So here is just a test. Okay. So you will do the pacing, and he will and inject some dye. Okay. So go ahead. So pacing on. Pacing on. It doesn't start immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Injection. Stop pacing, stop pacing. Okay. So in the beginning, it was a little high, and I, I pushed it. I pushed it a little, you see? So um, I think, this is I good, think yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Do you agree? So yeah. I will we pull back. We can do a second test. We can do a second test if you want. One more test. So Just rapid pacing again. We have to wait a little. Okay. I'm looking at the pacing. So the aortic pressure is good, so you can absolutely do a second okay. rapid pacing. Okay. Yeah. Injection. Okay, good. Stop pacing. Are you happy? Maybe a, a, little, a little deep, yeah. I, yeah. Will, uh, I can push. Uh, we can uh, put it a little the higher. A little and, uh, so, uh, okay. Yeah. okay, good. So no, now I will pull back the pigtail, not to have it on the way. And uh, we're ready for implantation. And we do a, a slow inflation. A slow okay. inflation, yeah. So ready? So we're pacing on. I wait for pacing. Yeah. Okay. In uh, inflation. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Full? Full? Okay, a little Full. faster, yeah. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Okay, four seconds of deflate full inflation. And, and deflation. Uh, stop pacing. Yes. Stop pacing. Okay, that's good. that's good. And we can pull back, maintaining the warrior in place. We have recovery of blood pressure, so we are fine. So if we want, in case we, we, we added two cc anyway, yes, yeah, so we can yeah. remove it because we cannot do because more. We, we will not uh, do any additional inflation no. because this is a maximum tolerated yeah. by yes. the 23 so millimeter balloon. Uh, more than that, the sinuses are not very generous. Do you want to take a gradient so I keep uh, yes, the wire we'll in place? Yes, take a gradient. So we'll take a pigtail to do, to yeah. do the gradient. Just a negative. And then we'll do a aortogram. Okay. Okay. So the the valve, the, the catheter is out. Given a. Uh, 
So you can have a look on the aortic pressure. You know, the dioxic pressure is absolutely normal, and the systolic pressure is good. And uh, so uh, we do not have any argument for uh, some significant AR. So we'll uh, so we check it again. We'll take the again. gradient, yes. Dr. Kribe, this is uh, Manik. Just wanted to know what is your preference for yes, the pre-shaped wire? Is it extra stiff wire every time, or would you prefer some pre-shaped yes, wire? Uh, yeah. Well, we, 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 uh, we build uh, no all wire. our experience with the uh, Cook Extra Stiff wire. The Cook Extra Stiff, not super stiff, extra stiff. And so uh, today, you know, the younger, young uh, investigators in our department prefer sometimes to use a safari. And uh, I think it's not very important. You know, the, uh, what I like with the pre-shaping of the extra stiff wire is that you can adapt the curve to the size of the left ventricle. So if the, if the left ventricle is very dilated, you can do a large curve at the end. And uh, in a small ventricle, you, you just reshape no. the two last uh, centimeters of the gadwar. Yes, but so uh, it, it gives an excellent support. Uh, and no, uh, it works very well you when you want to do a yes, stimulation, uh, guide, guide wire stimulation pacing, for example, gadwar pacing. Okay. It works very, very well. And so we do continue in our department to use this uh, Gadwar. It's, it's a matter of generation. You know, the, the youngest, they prefer okay, to. Look. Oh. Okay, so, so a, you have to push the, the left ventricle. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have absolutely no gradient of we can We can do better if you want yeah, to. Yeah, but, uh, we, yeah, we can uh, flush just pull back the pictorial a little. Yes, but I, I, I this think. This is a femoral pressure, so we can connect to aorta, we'll have yes, zero gradient. Yes, yes. I think we'll have a zero gradient yes. because yes. it's so a peripheral augmentation. We'll show you the gradient if you have the pressure on the screen. Do you have the pressure curve on the screen? Yes, it will come. Yes, it's a... Uh, ah, do you have it? Yes, in the... It's a zero gradient. That was a no, you lapse. see? Zero gradient. So, no, the, the, the diastic pressure is excellent. And uh, excellent, there is no gradient you know, uh, also. And is there is absolutely uh, no gradient. Maybe you can pull back a little bit. Yes, yes, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to have something there. better. Okay, this yes. is good okay. now. This is uh, an optimal result on yes. hemodynamics. Now you can do the angio the, and we'll do see. the yeah. so we'll pull back the we'll do we will pull back the one the the pigtail from the LV. Well, the yes. best is you to want replace the gadwar. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Regular one. Your regular one, yes. Probably. Yeah. And we'll do uh, 20 uh, cc on and 15 uh, speed if you can. We keep the wire for you, for the yes. closure. Uh, we used to give a half dose of um, the, the dose of initial heparin by protamine. I don't know if you want to do it. We will do it. We will okay. check the ACT and then do it. Okay, yeah. we'll take the ACT. So we neutralize the uh, heparin with a half dose of uh, protamine. Yes. yes. And uh, we are ready for aortogram if you are. Are you ready? Ready. Yes. Yeah, well, optimal, yeah, Fantastic sure. Result. And look at I the, think it's the an left excellent coronary artery is perfect. There is no AR. Okay, it's, it's <laughs> over. Okay, we so just have to finish uh, by we'll closing we'll the, uh, we'll the, we'll the proglides we'll and close. that's it. It depends if you want to, to see the closure or not. I don't think so. Do you want to see the, the proglide closure or can we get disconnected now? Well, I so we reintroduce we a dilator anyway for closure? I think if time permits, you we can, can move, definitely maybe, see no? it. Maybe we have five minutes, so okay, okay. we, we can uh, show the proglide pro closure. Yes, we can, we can show you. Yes, okay. You want, I, okay. I can go on your side. So we, we have to add, we advance the right. dilator. 25 minutes. So, so what's your standard strategy? Is it two proglides at your place or uh, one proglide and one uh, angioseal? Yeah, it's uh, either one. Uh, usually it's two proglides, but when the vessels are quite small, like in female, Sometimes we prefer to do one proglide and one angiocele, which is systematic. We never do only one proglide. But uh, I, I do, usually I do two proglides, but uh, the, uh, one proglide, one angiocele, is, is, I think it's uh, really we, equivalent. And, uh, can we have good. the camera on the hand? Yes, it's very good. Can we move the camera to Manoj's yes. hand and remove the angiogram? Yes. You'll take it out? Table down. So you, you tell me when I pull back yeah. the sheath. Yeah, right now? Yeah. So I, I keep the wire and I pull back the sheath as usual. 
and we are pulling on the threads. And if there is nothing special, we can pull back the wire. No, so no, how, we, how we is it? You may require something. You may require something. Yeah. So we have to advance an angel seal. Yeah. Anyway, I think it's systematically Manoj, it's better to advance Manoj, the angel can seal. You swap yeah, yeah. Eight, eight French angel seal. Manoj, can you swap yeah, the uh, picture? Acetyl bleeding. We can't see your you hand. Yeah, French? that's great. Uh, can, you, can you show this hand? Yeah, that's fine. Where is it, okay. the angel ah, seal? Right. Yeah. So, pulsatile bleeding is there. Man is a 110 kg weight. So, it's, it's, it's better to put an angel seal. I don't know where it is. Yeah, yeah, there will be. It's coming. Can you show it here? Leave it. Sir, no. Pardon? Ah. That's an excellent uh, result, Manoj. Fantastic. As you said, uh, this is a high yeah. BMI patient. Uh, you don't want to take any chance. Yeah. yeah there is no point in uh, coming back in the night. So better we put another angio seal and close. But it. Do, does it happen that you just put one proglider? Yeah. We, yes. Yesterday also we did one. Proglider. Ah, I never done that. Yeah. Single proglide. For our EVARS, the contralateral limb, all 14 French, we do single proglide. Okay. And do you control systematically the angiogram at the end? Yes. Yes. Typically, in Indian patients, sometimes the vessel size is small, like it's almost like 5.5 yes. to 6. So probably that's why if you are going with a Metronic system yes, or, or someone which is slightly lower profile, then maybe one would work. You want to do that? Oh, no, go ahead. Yes. That's true that sometimes with two proglides in, in uh, quite small vessels, you have a kind of stenosis. So, and with angio seal, you have less. Yeah, I don't pull it too much. Yes. Yeah, it's a very gentle touch. Right. Manoj, did you actually put the additional 2 ml and uh, dilate, or it was just the first inflation? Of yes, yes, it was 2 ml extra, and it made 6% oversizing. And you can, if you see the final angiogram, actually the leaflet which was calcified is going towards the uh, left coronary. I think it was a good choice that we did not select 26 millimeter here. We can have a look again yeah, at, just the look result, at, at the result because it's interesting. What do you think? Fantastic. Good Excellent. Result. So you can see that there is no bleeding there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You see, we, got, we see the, the left main very well. And, uh, but if you take a 26 choice. millimeter, probably we would have pushed the whole thing towards the left. This. And there is no gradient at all, even yeah. doing this. Uh, uh, we'll take an injection from the opposite side. So we'll do an injection with the um, pigtail? Yeah. Okay. We can do. do we need the wire to yeah. go down? Yeah, you can go down, and uh, that will be nice if we can go can down. Can you go down? We what do is the, the ACT like? The angiogram and the, and the leg. Nichef, I like bifurcation. Uh, I don't see it yet. So. I, I usually I do it with a memory. With oh, a you lima. take a memory, no? But uh, you ca if you are used with the pig tail, I know. No uh, problem. You want to go in the iliac? It will be nice, or uh, whatever you want. And because it's a little yeah, complicated for me. We can do it from there also. The most difficult part will be to uh, go... Give a right corner. Or a lima. Go. You can give it... Uh, so I am pulling back the, yeah. the big tail. And uh, it's, is it a lima? Yes. It's a lima. It's very important not to leave the cat lab uh, before without checking, because uh, in, if you have a problem of during the night, it is this. Is it this one? We're looking for that last angio, and then uh, Ellen, we will. Yes, 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 I'm. Yeah.
can you? Yeah, and there is no pressure, so I don't know if I have a backflow uh, because usually I connect to it. Okay, it should be fine. Okay, you will give me an injection with that. Oh. Come. So come lower down. Ah, yes. We have to go down to the to the. So do you do a DSA a or just a normal angiogram? Oh, I don't know. Can we do? You want a DSA? Yes. Okay, so DSA. Okay. Yes, please. We like to do that. Yeah, and we'll go ahead and then do And this. we go also, we do it in the RAO for okay. the puncture to not to, to have a good visualization. Can you give some uh, 30 degree RAO? Where are the technicians gone? RAO. How much RAO do you want? 30 degrees, it's okay. 30 degree RAO. And go down also. Come down. Come down. Go down. And. We have to go on, to, on the right groin. So the right groin is always RAO and the left so groin can you is move LAO. Up? Okay. You see the yes, side. yes. Can you move a little? It should be fine, but it's, uh, it could be better because you are not in the middle, but if you are in a hurry, I think it should be fine. Okay, good, good yeah. enough. And um, what about the cine for this? Uh oh, we'll get the cine. Okay, ready? Uh, DSA. Uh, 50, 10 ml, 12 ml is okay. Yes, you are taking enough. an end hole catheter. Yeah. Okay. It's a DSA, I'll tell you. Inject. Oh, perfect. Um, it's, good. Very good. Uh, it's very good. Fantastic. It's very good. Come, come on. Okay, so I think it's uh, we have to move and uh, thank you for uh, attending uh, we, this case. We have to give some pressure. Assistance. Thanks, thanks a lot for a wonderful case and and um, a really very good result. Yeah, thank you very much, thank you. Elaine. Thank, thank you, you, Alan, and thank you, Manoj. Thank you. Thank you Alan. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Manoj. Yeah, thank you. Pacemaker, take it out.